Hello everybody, my name is Lachar, and this is Mad Games Tycoon 2, another episode of my Let's Play. Handheld, 99.9% .9 done, so that's about to come out. Loot Splite Sim 2, also going to come out soon. Need to get a couple bugs out, um, need to finish working on the sound. Other than that, it's good to go. Uh, secondary development team is working on Biplane Battle 3. Uh, we're looking for extra game testers, because we got this giant game tester room down here now. <laughs> and research team... Or game test room, QA room, I guess is you know what it's called. Uh, and the research team is just working on topics right now. I don't think there's any other research they could be doing right now. Let's find out. Okay, this console is ready to go. We might as well put it out now. I don't see any reason to hold off. That 100 hype. You can't really polish a console, right? So let's publish this. We will hold at a $20 profit. Yeah. Yeah, we're over 8. 8.2 out of 10. I'm satisfied with that. That's good enough. All right. So, can we make a tier 2 stationary console? I can. Do I want to? I feel like I should. Right? Because, I mean, I haven't really supported this. Right? Like, I haven't invested too much. It made money. That's all that really matters, right? I haven't made any exclusive sport or anything. Now, like, I could I could do this now, or I could wait till like, the second wave of Tech Level 2 stuff comes out. But I think I'm just going to do it now. Maybe. Yeah, no, let's do it now. Generally speaking, that's what I do. You always try to... Your, your stationary console, you know, as soon as... You get to higher level tech, you put it out. The handheld, though, you usually got to wait till you get the screen, right? Like, we don't have a tech level 2 handheld screen right now. Um, so, like, I wouldn't be capable of making a tech level 2 handheld. And it might be a while before the screen comes out. It's it's, it's different from, like, um, each tech level. Like, tech level 3 or 4, I forget which one of them was. Um, my last playthrough I did, I was, I was starting to think it was bugged because the screen just wasn't coming out. And then it finally, it finally did come out. Um, so let's just go Super Luchera Box. Because we got the Luchera Box already, right? Um, we will make this one blue. That's more purple than blue. There's blue. And two controllers. We will include... Uh, what game do we want to include? Something that was good. Three Kingdoms, Chow Chow's Greed? Sure. Um, we will make it backwards compatible with the Luchera box and the Luchera Go. Not that it really matters. There's no games for Luchera Go right now. We are not capable of being internet connected yet. That will come. We will turn on all these features. And away we go. All right, this is kind of a very console-heavy episode. <laughs> it's not often you make one console, then immediately start making a second console, right? All right, so we found a QA person. So let's put them down here. Uh, this game is ready. Um, have I already done the pre-release special marketing? I forget. We'll start on a game report down here. Is there any game testers just on the market? There's one. <laughs> and they only have one trait, and it's negative. I mean, I can live with immunocompromised, but... Yeah, you know what? I'll... Sure. Probably going to regret that. They're going to be sick constantly. Um, yeah, there's no real research I care about, so let's just get some topics done. Starting with basketball, in case I want to make a new sports game. I should probably start hyping this console soon, right? Or advertising it, whatever, however you want to look at it. We're going to wait for this to finish. We're going to make sure we have the pre-release special marketing done for Light Sim 2. Okay, apparently we did a demo, but not the pre-release. That's weird. Don't usually do it like that. Um, let's wait for the results. Okay. Went through. Somebody licensed my action engine. All right. So let's uh, start working on the console here. Let's do a game magazine. Not that console. This console. All right. And let's do an update for Sixth Fantasy. Probably my newest game. Well, my newest game, except for the game that's about to come out. But Sixth Fantasy is selling well. I like to keep it selling well right that's one of my more valuable ips i think my my 
two most valuable IPs, both RPGs. Oh, I guess I have the Cyber, whatever, Cyber Stalkers. I should probably do one for Cyber Stalkers, right? It's been a long time. Yeah. <laughs> two out of, these two are both RPGs, but I mean, I can spin off into any genre, right? But I haven't done this because skill game is so saturated and it's primarily a skill game thing. Um, anyway, all right, so let's put this out. Finish development. Hand over to Teidu. Okay, so we're getting better at simulation games. Extremely unsaturated. Um, it's for both my consoles, though. So, I mean, I, it's tough. I could have it reach way more people if I did something other than my consoles, but it helps sell consoles, right? Actually, my handheld is selling very well. That's not surprising, though. I kind of expected that. Oh, 88%. That's pretty good. We're getting up there. Um, as there's only like one other handheld on the market, right? Like the Mini Vision. That's it. All these are not handhelds. And the Game Boy, or whatever it's called in this, I forget, is a long ways away, <laughs> right? The Game Boy is not coming out tomorrow. Um, so, all right, so let's move all the QA down here. Got one big QA room now. So we'll get rid of this room eventually, probably. Um, I'm not sure what I'm going to do with that space, though. All right, so what kind of game do I want to make now? Is the question. The answer is, I don't know. Probably sports? Probably sports game? Or do I want to do a skill game, even though it's super saturated and not popular? You know what? No. <laughs> because it's super saturated and not popular. All right, so I'm going to make a sports game. It's going to be tech level one. Um, so the engine, I shouldn't have to worry about the engine. All ages is good. Um, let's go baseball. Call this Switchera baseball. Uh, we'll leave it at B plus for now, although there's a very good chance we'll have to make it size A to fit all the features in. Ball engine, we'll go personal computer, Kateri, Chera box, and the Luchera go. We're going to do this a couple times. Of, of you know putting games out for these two consoles and then we're going to move on to tech level two we wait till my tech level two console is out and then we'll primarily make tech level two games with the odd tech level one mixed in possibly all right so um have i only done the one sports game so far yes question mark that's a lot of games i've made a lot of games all right, so what sliders did I move for this sports game? I moved a couple, not many. <laughs> All right, so let's look at the letters from that game. Um, Chair soccer. Too short. Too core. More innovation. So too short. More innovation. Too core. And there's two more letters here. Too violent, too hard. Oh, too hard. All right, so probably move oh, game depth down and we'll say character design. Try that. Oh, and let's look. look at the report here. No, it's not the report, that's the concept. Once again, I clicked on the wrong button. Because I'm a genius, I tell you. 20, 30, 10, 40. The graphics are more important than sound. Want that jacked up. Um, 20, 30, 10, 40, and try that. All right, uh, 17 to 20, K, okay, so B plus it is. And away we go. All right, let's approve the sound. Uh, as soon as they're done with that, we'll improve gameplay. But, you know, we have a couple extra people now, so they should get through stuff faster, hopefully. Um, we're going to have to advertise this game because it's a fresh a fresh IP. I guess I could have made a sequel. I didn't even consider making a sequel there, and I probably should have. Luchera Soccer. That's fine. It's good to get a new IP every now and then, right? Because I do it so rarely, right? All right, we got Primitive AI Level 3, which means that's another Tech Level 2 feature. Engine feature, right? 
which is good because we are going to move into being more heavily tech level two very soon. All right, so let's get this advertising up to 40. That'll be it for normal advertising, right? All right, so let's um, quickly do a demo for Six Fantasy. No, demo doesn't do anything for that because it's already because of the overhype. Let's do a demo for Loot Spice in 2. Like, I want to start, I mean, actually, you know what, let's do... Get blue chair box, super blue chair box up to 40 hype. And when we once we reach that point, we'll be able to do uh what's gonna call it the pre-release special marketing for blue chair baseball. Um, all right, so they're done in that engine feature. I don't need double A yet. I don't have space for production or a workshop. Subgenres kind of whatever. So it looks like we're gonna bang out some more topics. Here. So what do we want to do with this group? Update for Blue Blade Sim 2, probably. Probably the play there. We're going to be getting an engine ready. I think next game is going to be tech level 1 again. Yeah, the chair goes selling okay. Just okay, though. I wouldn't give it much more than okay. All right, so where are we at here? Lucera Baseball. Beta Demo. Be released with the press. Uh, let's see if there's any more game testers on the market. There is one. Pretty low score. They do a positive trades, but those are both kind of mediocre positive traits. Did I not hire them? Okay, did they go in the right room? No, they're right there. There we go. All right, so let's go back to marketing super blue chair box, probably. Do one TV spot here. Just the one at a time. We'll do the second one eventually. Just takes a long time to do a TV spot, right? I don't want to commit them to two right now. All right, so our sound team. My sound team needs to be beefed up. Clearly, they're lagging behind. And I have space for extra people. All right, so we're going to add two, one of which is efficient. And I don't think they take bathroom breaks as well. Sucks to be them. <laughs> um, only 60 to 80. Really? That's, I don't like that. <laughs> um, all right, so let's update the skill engine. I don't think this has been updated in a long time. Got none of the tech level two stuff. Just in case, just in case I want to make, you know, Cyber Stalkers 5 or 28 or whatever it's at. I think it's at 5. Um, it's definitely not at 28. <laughs> I haven't made that many. A little polishing. Maybe we'll polish till the end of the week and then we'll put this out. Action Engine was licensed. Made a massive $78,000 for me. Woo, look out. Only 60 to 80, man. I guess it's only my second sports game, though. Still, I expected a little more than that. Right? Like. Okay, it's 80. It's 80 at least, right? I'm, I'm, sorry, I'm okay with that. I would have liked to have been, had to be even higher, obviously. Is it time for Satisfactorio 4? Question mark. It's close to the end of the line, right? Ooh, the Luchero Go sales have fallen pretty hard. Fallen on hard times there. But it's already profitable, and that's ultimately all that matters with these consoles. Once we get this one out, we'll start actually trying to focus on consoles somewhat, right? Like I'll do a I'll do an exclusive or two. Right. Well, actually, it's these are these are just practice consoles. Basically, I want to get them out just to say I had tech level one consoles. Because I mean, when you're on hard difficulty, it's not always easy to get console research done in order to actually get a uh, tech level one console out. Right. All right. So biplane battle three. We're not going to do that. Cyber quest. Oh, this is cyber. Yeah, this is just cyber stalkers. Um. So yeah, adventure. Let's, let's let's do an adventure game. Let's do Cyber Quest too. So I'm pretty sure this is part of the Cyber uh, IP, right? I haven't done an adventure in a long time. Actually, I don't even know if this is. Yeah, okay. I think that's the best tech level one stuff. Pretty sure. 
Oh wait, I didn't even have the right engine in. <laughs> uh, no, it's not primitive. Ah, ah. We can't do an adventure game right now, so let's just do the engine myself here. We need this. We might as well include the tech level two stuff, even though we're not going to use it for this game, right? Wow, this engine was extremely out of date. Extremely out of date. That's fine. It's not the end of the world. All right, can we do some commission work in these other rooms while that happens? We can here. We can do a game report here and commission work. We got game reports. Uh, and these are valuable game reports because we do not know where the sliders are supposed to go for those. Like, we just made an RPG, for example. Game report would not be nearly as important, right? Because we know how to make RPGs already. Like, ah, commission work is gone. <laughs> Waited too long. All right, so let's market this console, get it up to 100. Since we don't really have much else to do right now, because this engine's actually taking longer than I thought it would. I guess I did add a lot of stuff, right? Kind of makes sense. Well, there's no kind of about it. It, it makes sense. <laughs> That's taking so long. All right, so let's do an update for wheelchair baseball. And then we will take a look at what other games need updates once that's done. All right, here we go. Develop game, sequel. Cyber Quest. Cyber Quest 2, we would go B+. Plus. It, we will definitely not need to make this size A. I can tell you that right now. Um, so PC, Kateri, Chair Box, and the Chair Go. And we will go Tech Level 1, Tech Level 1, and Tech Level 1. Because, yeah, not a lot of features work with Adventure. All right, so these are all right, but these are wrong. What was my last adventure game? Obviously that needs to go that way. Let's take all these down one notch. Turn up to technical because we don't have the mocap studio yet, right? Um, was Cyber Quest my last adventure game? More beginner friendly, too easy. All right, so beginner friendly needs to go up. But neither of these are right. But I don't want to leave game length there because I know it's not right. You know what I mean? Uh, yeah, well, whatever. It's fine. Yeah, only 12 features. So, yeah. So, this game, because of the lack of features applying to adventure games, I'll actually be happy if this is 80%. Honestly. I kind of forgot about that. Adventure games, are they get to be hard to make at this point. Or hard to make... A, a good, a well-reviewed one, right? At this stage of the game. Which is fine. It's not the end of the world. All right, customer support. They're still keeping up. Well, they're more than keeping up, which is all that matters for them. And we got a fighting game, and we got a new sound chip. Well, that makes me think I should have waited to get this console out, but it is what it is at this point, right? Already, since already being made, I can't change it now. Um, so what do we want to market here? I guess we could put out a... Yeah, no, that, that was the right game. A demo for Chair Baseball. And I guess we can lurk, look, we can lurk. We can look for another game tester or two here. No skilled worker. And let's grab this engine feature. So this is another tech level two thing. This is graphics. We're not even... We've only used the old graphics once, and there's already new graphics. There's way more graphics engine features than the other ones. Sixty to eighty, but that's with bugs. Yeah, this will be it'll be fine, I think. All right, we got to get the pre-release special marketing done. Yeah, maybe doing an adventure game wasn't the play. Eh, Seventy to ninety, that, okay. So that, that's. That means it's probably going to be 85 plus, right? Once we get this 3% boost review score in, in theory, at least. Hardware, yeah, there's no rush on the hardware. If I'd known that was going to come out, that hardware thing, I would have waited a bit to do the super chair box. I would have waited a little bit. I didn't. Now I have to live with it. I mean, it's fine. Um, it just said there's a commission work. 
Why is there actually not commission work? That's weird. Anyway, um, so let's just do an update for sixth fantasy. Let's keep that going strong. I think it's going strong. Oh yeah, fourteen thousand still it's steady, very steady. That's good. Actually, lootable. All these games are selling pretty well, surprisingly. <laughs> Better than I expected, because neither of these games are like all that well reviewed. Huh. Saspectorio 3 off the market. Alright, we got achievements. We got mouse support. So we'll get fighting game done, then we'll do those. Alright, Cyber Quest 2. Finish development. Wait, wasn't it? It's probably wasn't it 70 to 90 earlier? Or am I imagining things? I could very well be imagining things. Oh, 82. 82 is fine. Considering adventure games are not exactly the easiest thing to make right now. All right, so. Three kingdoms? No, so I'm just trying to think. I could do Sass Victoria 4. Right? Um, how popular are strategy games right now? How long is the trend give me the trend? 18 more weeks. Okay. Strategies, 57% is not bad, and it's not super saturated. So maybe that's the play. Like, I mean, simulation and sports game are good, but I just did simulation and sports games, right? Yep, yeah, Seuss Aspectorio 4. Um, how's my console coming here? All right, so these are gonna be tech level one. This might be actually is I have a full. Yeah, no, we're going to wait because there's this new... Wait, do we have... Ah, I forget. Did I research the new graphics thing yet? Or is it still sitting there? Okay, I did. We Oh, we don't have physics yet. You know what? So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do tech level one for this. Let's double check. I'm sure it has the best tech level one stuff. Actually, I'm not, I'm not sure. That's why I'm checking, I should say. Okay, now I'm sure. All right, so Satisfactorio 4... It's going to be tech level one. Um, this might be my last tech level one game. We will see. Pretty sure it has a decent IP value now. Nope. 0.5. Never mind. <laughs> Still going to do it. I just thought the IP value was higher for it. Oh, well. That's fine. Strat Engine. PC. Atari. What's out there for dev kits, by the way? Active users. And nothing. See, like, here's the thing. I could go to Apple and then Nintendo, which have a combined, like, 50 million users. Or I could use Do My Two, which have a combined 2 million users. So I'm missing out on 48 million users for the sake of driving console sales. Is that worth it? Is that a good decision? I don't know. Possibly not, honestly. But this is why I think this will be my last tech level one game. I just want to get some support out for these consoles, right? Like 12 games available, two games available, or sorry, three games available for the Lucero Go. Didn't it, wasn't it just two the first time I moused over it? Or is it counting this game now? I wonder. Possibly. All right, so that must go there and that must go there. And strategy games are not beginner friendly. Well, let's look at the ladders for. Aspectorio 3. More game depth. Yep. All right. These games are deep and not beginner friendly, but I guess those two things go hand in hand, right? All right. 18 to 20. So this can be B. Plus. Perfect. And of course, we will make this game as good as we can in these other rooms. Perfect. All right, and don't need to hype it. This console's already hyped. Now, do I want to do a TV spot for Blue Chair Box and get that back up to 100? I think I will. I think I will. Even though, I know, it's kind of stupid. I got a new console on the way. Why would I care about this one, right? You have a good point. It's probably a waste of $500,000. I've kind of been... I've been stuck between not supporting these consoles and supporting them. Like, I'm like half-ass supporting them, which is probably not the way to go. You probably want to go either go all in on sport or not at all. 
right? Oh, we lost some graphics points, but graphics are terribly important to strategy game. So that's not the end of the world. And what do we got going on up here? Let's do an update. Or no, we probably want to start getting some engines updated, right? So what? Trend for 14 more weeks. We're gonna do we're gonna be doing an RPG soon, right? We know that because we're basically it's, there's there's a three kingdoms and, and first fantasy game out at all times basically is what i is what i've been doing with i with or uh, with rpgs right it's going to be tech level two my rpgs have, are are going to be the highest level tech i treat my rpgs differently i didn't go in into this run thinking i was going to be doing an rpg studio but here we are <laughs> right like that wasn't the plan like they're not my special genre um Skill game is my special genre, I think, right? If I can get these done, I can add these. Aspect Dorio potentially, right? I think. Let's see. Let's test that. Let's see if we can add achievements. It might not like be good for that genre. But I want to see. Um, all right, so let's do something with these folks. Cyber Quest 2. Beautiful. Um, gameplay features, achievements. Okay, cool. You can add it. You can add them on the fly, and it does. I mean, obviously we could. I was just curious to see, like, how long it took. All right, so now we can add no support as well, potentially, depending on. No, oh, it it's yellow. We can add it. Okay, and then we can research this sound chip, I guess. And here we can put out a demo for uh, nothing. No, wait. I knew there was something that needed a demo still or didn't have a demo. All right, so let's get this game done. Let's get it out. 80 to 100. That's good to see. I'm expecting, expecting this to be pretty good. There's bugs, though. So, oh, wait. Oh, that's interesting. See, what happened was they started polishing because it was done. But then when they added features, they had to go back and, and you know, start doing fresh stuff, which creates new bugs. But they've already moved past bug fixing in the QA room, right? That's interesting how that works. Fiber Quest 2, um, SAS Victoria 4, and what else is new-ish? Air Baseball? Sure. And then we will go, might as well go with the two that don't already have 100, right? <laughs> 3,000 new fans. We got primitive physics level three. Bug fix those, and then they'll switch to polishing. Okay, now we can put this out. Now I expect, I mean, it was already 80 to 100 with those bugs, right? So it should be pretty good. In theory, we will see. 95, okay, that's great. We will take it. That's going to be all for this episode. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, hit that like button. Subscribe if you haven't already. Most importantly, be good to each other. Have a great day, and I'll see you in the next one.